13 minutes after six now, many residents with homes on the barrier islands have only been able to see their homes or what's left of them through aerial video that they're seeing on the news. ABC Action News in-depth reporter Stasi Almost explains why residents can't get back on the islands yet and the challenges that they're now facing with insurance claims. This is the entrance to Fort Myers Beach. You can see that it is still closed off. You can hear search and rescue helicopters and every once in a while an ambulance will rush on and off the island. This is because rescue crews are still looking for anyone that may be buried under the rubble. Now authorities tell me that until further notice, no residents will be allowed on the islands, which means that people have no idea if their homes are still standing. They can't get to them to even see what the damage is and therefore it's making it extremely difficult to file insurance claims. There is so much death and destruction and that's where my heart goes out to all the people that have lost their lives and more than me and my husband and my family but we do need to get some answers as to you know how about maybe take us family by family you know and get to our homes. We just feel really helpless right now. There's a lot of people feeling helpless. Cynthia Bruski speaks for thousands of Fort Myers Beach residents who have no idea what's left of their lives on the island, living in temporary housing or hotels and trying to start claims with their insurance companies. Claims that require proof and a lot of detail, item by item and even photos, information they don't have. The Florida Association of Insurance Agents CEO tells me it's a similar situation on all the barrier islands, especially with the Sanibel Causeway damaged. It will be a wide before claims adjusters can even get on the island. There are areas that um, are going to have some kind of unique challenges, and I, I'm hopeful uh, that insurance companies are going to understand that and put in some different protocol for those areas to be able to make sure that customers are being taken care of. I spoke with a couple insurance companies today at the Insurance Village here in Fort Myers, and they say that homeowners should just file, get the process started, put as much information that you can, and then they'll take it from there. Reporting here in Fort Myers, I'm Stassi Olmos, ABC Action News.